as you already know, I synchronize my Obsidian using sync thing. But from the very beginning, I was constantly thinking about a backup strategy. So here's what I first came up with. I had my vault. I still have my vaults on a Mac mini that stays uh, on my office. I have my uh, laptop computer that I bring with me to home. And I also bring it to the office because that's where I do my work. And I have my Android phone. So my first idea was to synchronize the Mac and the Mac mini and the phone and the Mac mini to avoid conflicts and the Mac mini would be, uh, the backup would happen on the Mac mini. This was working fine until I faced some problems, real life problems. Uh, once I was on a trip and this Mac mini here, something happened to the power on the office and this Mac mini turned off and then it, it is uh, set to turn on again, but for some reason it didn't. So I lost this connection here. I didn't have this or this, meaning that these devices were, the, the vaults were different because anything I was doing here would not synchronize to the phone and vice versa. So that's not a good thing to happen. So I moved to a new strategy. This is the new one. There's more uh, folders here. You, you, we'll get to that in, in a moment. But what I'm doing now is keeping the, my laptop as the main source of everything, because this is what's with me all the time. So what I'm doing now is synchronizing the laptop with the phone, uh, the laptop with the Mac mini. So now if I, I'm on a trip and I bring both, I have both synchronized because they are, they are always with me. They are almost always with me, especially on trips and at home, they are both are with me. So I keep them both synchronized and I have a way to synchronize this information, the vault from here uh, with the, the Mac mini. On top of that, I now have two different backups. I have one backup at my home and another one that stays here in the office. So I have two different uh, disks, two different hard drives and two different buildings uh, in different places uh, in the city. So I'm pretty happy with the backup. Now there are other folders here that we have to talk about. This one here are my pictures. Every time I take a picture with my phone, I have sync thing uh, checking uh, photos folder and that is synchronized with my Mac. So I have a, a local folder with all my pictures there, but it is also synchronized with my Mac mini. Okay. And here you noticed a difference. Uh, the Mac is not the source of everything anymore because when I'm taking a picture, the phone will always be the source of the information. So that's why I'm synchronizing the phone with both computers. That will give me uh, more chances of having multiple backups. Okay. And then there's this uh, last folder here, which I call uh, send to Android should be, should be synchronized Android. <laughs> this is just for uh, files that I sometimes I I record a screen on my Android and I want to send it to the, the Mac to be able to use that and vice versa. But all this will end up in my timeline system. Today, I don't have my pictures here because there, there's too much information. There, there are too many pictures. That's, that's not possible. I don't have space and off space on my phone to have my pictures synchronized on my vault. So my plan is to one day when I have a phone that has more space, storage on phones is growing since forever. So I don't think it's going to take long for phones to have an off storage for something like this. So then I'll move this folder to the timeline. For now, when I need a picture uh, for a journal or for anything else, 
in Obsidian, I'm moving pictures from here, the specific pictures from here to a, a, a pictures folder inside the timeline. And anything else that I need to add to this system, to this synchronization system, will always have two backups. So that's why I, I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the best way to keep everything backed up in two different places. After all, I'm the one taking care of my cloud, which is not even a cloud. <laughs> oh, one thing that I forgot to mention, Sync thing has this uh, smart feature when two or more devices are in the same network, it will synchronize the devices using the network. It's not going to send it to the internet and then down to the other devices. So that's really interesting when I have all the devices here together in the office, everything is synchronizing using my local network. The same will happen in a hotel if I'm using the hotel Wi-Fi. And yes, everything is always encrypted in transit. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.